My name is Loie Lane, and I'm so excited to tell you guys about my new podcast, Internet Urban Legends, with my BFF, Snitchery. We deep dive into the darkest corners of the internet to uncover whether some of the most notorious web myths are hoax or whether they're con. Internet Urban Legends, available exclusively on Spotify. Hello, my loves. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Hi, hello, my name is Loey. In today's video, we're gonna be talking a little bit about the Mandela Catalog, which is potentially the scariest thing I've ever found on YouTube. As we're getting into the Halloween season, I'm trying to turn out more and more videos for you guys to celebrate the Halloween spirit, but I also wanted to let you know that this upcoming Sunday, I'm hosting a Halloween party here on my channel for all of you. I am hosting Facetune's Hollow Live event, a first of its kind live stream event from Light Tricks. I'm really excited because it's honestly just like a little Halloween special for you guys, but it's like we're having like a Halloween house party and there's going to be so many special guests and performances. Tune in live on my channel on Sunday for live makeup tutorials, photo editing tutorials using Facetune, killer costume ideas, and spooktacular performances. I can't wait to show you guys what I'm dressing up for for Halloween. I have my costume all picked out and just to talk about some creepy Halloween stories. We'll talk about costume tips, makeup tips, and just generally speaking how to elevate your Halloween. Halloween look. The stream will be airing this week on Sunday, October 24th at 9 p.m. EST or 6 p.m. PST. That's not like two separate time slots, that's just the time zone change. <laughs> Click the link in my bio down below to save your spot RSVP baby to get your free gone. Thank you so much to Facetune for sponsoring this video and for working with me. I'm really, really excited for this Sunday and I hope to see you guys there. Today we're going to be talking about the Mandela catalog here on YouTube. This is something that I actually kind of stumbled upon inadvertently while watching 8-Bit Ryan's channel. He's one of my favorite creators on YouTube. He has a series where his fans send him in videos to kind of react to and uh, to get spooked by, and he had several videos from the Mandela Catalog channel. Once I had seen one, by far the freakiest and I think most viral one, uh, you will probably spot it from a mile away as we were watching this content together, I decided to stop watching his video and sort of react to the rest of it for myself because I immediately knew I wanted to do a video. The Mandela Catalog channel has five videos on it currently, one of them being a teaser for the upcoming Mandela Catalog Volume 2. This is an analog horror series produced by Alex Kister. He is incredible with these, and you guys will see what I mean as we get into everything. He is 18 years old, and as I learned from the comments on one sort of analysis video, he edits all of these, like does most of the work on his iPhone. The guy is extremely talented, and these videos are super effective at getting under your skin. I watched these videos live on Twitch earlier tonight, which is what I'm going to be showing you, just kind of my initial reaction to the videos and my analysis as we watch the entire series. But the best way to support creators of these horror projects is to visit their channels and watch the whole series for yourself. That to say, I did have some takeaways now that I'm sitting here post watching the series, and I'm gonna try something a little bit different where I give you my thoughts on this series and sort of the theories that I believe before we start watching. Because to be frank, the first episode of the Mandela Catalog sort of throws you in and if you're like me just watching and kind of freaked out, you may not take too much away from it. I was watching an analysis video by Wendigoon, another of my favorite content creators here on YouTube, and he had a theory due to several things that are hidden throughout these videos, including an excerpt from Dante's Inferno, a lot of religious implications and just uh, content in general, and so much more. He determined that, that the Mandela Catalog takes place place in a universe, in a world, where the ultimate evil, think like the devil, uh, took over the world. So the devil would have fully replaced God in this world, or like the ultimate light, or whatever. I'm super spiritual, and I am religious, but I'm not Christian, so I'm using sort of vague terminology to this, so that like, I guess just people like me who are not thinking of this with like, Lucifer versus Jesus Christ, uh, will sort of get the reference, but that is really what this is. And I thought that that was important to tell you before we get into the first video, which really, really throws you right into the religious context. That to say, because of these events, there are now what would be called 
alternates in this universe. Alternates or doppelgangers are people that look exactly like you. And if you see them, you are to immediately hide yourself away, get a weapon, stay quiet, and do not interact. It's believed that these could be demons of sorts, taking over the earth, uh, rising up because this is the devil's domain. You'll see more as I get into this, but I wanted to give you that context before we get into my kind of just initial watching of this series. Without any further ado, let's dive into the Mandela catalog. If you ever want to catch these videos being recorded live, you can check out my Twitch, twitch.tv slash Loie and we would love to have you. Let me show you the contents of the channel first. So uh, we're sitting at 118,000 subscribers currently. We have the Mandela Catalog, Overthrown, The Think Principle, Volume 1, Intruder Alert, and the Volume 2 Teaser. These just have been everywhere. Someone was saying like they feel like they had never heard of this entire thing before, but now it's just for some reason absolutely everywhere. Okay. A sheep. They're sheeps. Oh. Don't be afraid. I bring good news of great joy for you and all people. Oh dear. Tonight, your savior was born in Davidstown. Well, this has incredibly religious contents that I wasn't aware of. That, that threw me for a loop. That did surprise me. It is Sunday school. Children, buckle in. This was one of my last jobs before doing YouTube. I taught, I taught Sunday school, taught children's church. Do you guys know that couple on TikTok? that does like the uh they'll they'll just say words to each other they'll stand like this far away from each other Rawr. what sound is that a dinosaur a what dinosaur it's a what dinosaur make the sound again Rawr. are you talking about them things from jura sissy parak <laughs> that's all this is oh i am the, a the angel gabriel I've come to bring good news. News? For me? Whatever God wants. Oh, binary, binary. I am the one true saver. I must reverse the delusion. Joseph is next. I will fool the shepherds. I will know their greatest fear. I will know your greatest fear. Wake up, Joseph. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake Oh, God. No pun intended. Do not be afraid, my dear shepherds. I have great news. I am your true savior. How frozen I became and powerless then. Ask it not, reader, for I write it not, because all language be insufficient. I did not die, and I alive remained not. Think for myself now, hast thou aught of wit, what I became, being of both deprived. Can't you see? I deceived them. Such weak minds. Someone just said, this is the last. That's the last in this series. So what was that? That was the first, well, at the time, uh, the first entry of the Mandela Catalog YouTube channel. Let's try the Think Principle. No, no, nothing to do with we Mandela are currently effect. receiving countless reports of an unidentified hostile organism that we'll refer to as alternates. Until we have a complete understanding of the threat, it's important to stay home, lock all doors and windows, and have access to a loaded firearm or any ranged weapon at all times. You will know if an alternate exists solely based on their physical characteristics. If you see another person that looks identical to you, run away and hide. Why? If you see a person that has a biologically impossible characteristic, run away and hide. If one oh, so we're just judging people with comically large heads now. 
Hmm. Manages to break into your home, refrain from any kind of communication or contact with the threat. Intelligent life forms utilize elements of psychological warfare to take advantage of their victims. While we heavily discourage any form of contact or communication with an alternate, we make exceptions for attempts at executing them yourself. No, man! That was a terribly timed bark at the door. No, no one is there. Stop this nonsense. No. No. No one's there. In the event of an alternate encounter, follow the think principle. The think principle starts with tell, an authority figure about your encounter. Hinder the alternate's movement. Identify the class type. Neutralize the alternate if, if it is safe to do so. The last was taking your own life, basically, was the K. Know your place in reality. Self unalive, thank you. That's a better, better way to phrase that. Know your enemy. Type one, doppelganger. Type two is detectable. <gasps> hey, we've already seen her! Ew, 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 I don't like that sound in my ear. Oh, oh god. <laughs> Where are we? Is this a room? A... Hello? Hey! I just made a friend! I just made a friend. Let me say hi to him. The distorted uh, faces really freak me out too. I'm so curious then what volume one entails. I'm probably gonna go ahead and turn down the volume a bit. Getting this from a tem temporal? temporal agency is interesting. Yeah, I didn't even talk about that really at the beginning, did I? The United States Department of Temporal Phenomena. What does temporal mean? Oh, relating to worldly uh, as opposed to spiritual affairs, secular. Or relating to time so time related things interesting victim one victim two that is i thought that was zach and cody for like a solid minute there mark heathcliff caesar torres hey it's caesar i hope it's not too late no it's fine don't worry what's up are you right yeah it's not me it's my mom i'm on my way to the er but could you do me a favor yeah of course what is it? Uh, I just need you to come over and turn on the cameras we have set up. Would you mind if I asked why? Oh, well, she screamed really loud right before I found her on the ground. I, I just... Well, do you have your doors and windows locked? Like what the broadcast told us to do? So this is in a universe where they are listening to these broadcasts, telling them about the alternates and stuff. So like the alternates, this is not just like a random phenomena that they stumbled across then. Interesting. One last thing, try to get a good view of the back, the back hallway. <laughs> try to get a good view of the back hallway. Okay, so this is just him turning on the cameras. Ugh. Get out, get out, leave the house, leave the house. <laughs> Motion detected at 3.31 a.m. Recording start. Someone in chat saying their house just creaked while watching this. That would scare the bejesus out of me. Oh, sound increase detected at 5.34 a.m. Recording start. Who are you? G get away from me! No! It followed me home, Caesar. Let, 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 let me in my... I have a gift for you, you, you. I have a present. I have a surprise. I will not hurt. There are tears in my eyes. My eyes are tearing up. This is so... I do not want to see what is on the other side. But it has been days. And nobody has come to help me. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my 
god. Uh oh, bad decision, Mark. Oh god, oh no, god, I have chills. Oh. Hi. Hello. Imagine waking up to that face and hearing, got any games on your phone? Nobody came for me. So the alternate got him. Yikes. Attention! Viewing of the following footage is illegal and punishable by law if not previously cleared with your assistant. If you have access to this recording and are not part of your local authority, please stop the video and discard of the tape immediately. Besties, we might be in trouble. Mandela, oh, Mandela County Police Department training video. Position, emergency call operator. So that's where the Mandela comes from. While at the station, a situation may occur where the local 911 dispatchers run out of operators to handle calls, so they are given to us instead. There are three, and only three, scenarios that you will handle with a caller here at the Mandela County Police Department. We thank you for viewing this instruction. Encounter. Oh, is that the fourth kind of emergency? Do not help a caller reporting an alternate encounter. I have chills. No matter how frantic their screams are. Oh, God. Calmly reassure the caller that help is on the way. The call can be ended when they stop responding to your questions. Do not speak too much. You might ac accidentally reveal your fear. Nothing is worth the risk. Nothing is worth the risk. Nothing is worth the risk. All right. On to intruder alert. Hello. I am inside your home. I'm inside your home. Mandela County Child Endangerment Awareness Association presents. Keep an eye on your children. This is real. Otherwise, they're going to eat wasabi and spaghetti, much like we just watched on stream. Let's face it. Us parents know how time consuming it is to keep an eye on our young children. Ugh, real. While working is essential. They must receive attention from us so that they know we love them too. <laughs> Maka, please! Please, 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 this is not the time to bark at nothing. I'm gonna have a mental breakdown. They're all just standing at the door. Look at this dog. Look at this. This is the face of someone who wants me to suffer. And now you have lipstick on your nose. Haha. -ha. Haha, now you have lipstick. Now you have lipstick on your nose. Haha. -ha. Some of us may rely on key things that keep them entertained, like toys, walks in a stroller, mm -hmm. or even cartoons on the family television. Totally. Totally. Okay. Be oh. cautious with what channels your children view on the television, since you never know what harmful content they may be seeing. Your children may be viewing elements of violent content, sexual content, graphic True. content, scary imagery. They exist on different spectrums. If you hear your child screaming or crying in front of the television, wait until your child stops making noise before entering the room. You will be- Oh God. Oh, she didn't wait. Oh, she didn't wait. Oh no. The crib is empty. Oh god. What? Oh no, is she on the TV? She there he is again. He's inside her home. He said he did say that. If you're watching this in post, uh, basically the second imagery was of someone unaliving and like a, a coffin and a TV and stuff because they were distraught at the sight of her missing infant. What is the point of waiting until after the crying? I don't know. I don't know. 
Emergency alert system. Local authority has issued an immediate safety warning for multiple counties. Urgent. A total of 3,426 children have gone missing within the following counties. Bythorn County, Workshack County, Mandela County, Yonder wow. County. To turn vulnerable children away from any television or medium that can project possibly frightening imagery. Updates will soon follow. So kids are going missing all over different counties in this area because of whatever is being shown on the TV. After receiving neighboring noise complaints, a prolonged childlike crying followed by a loud crack, an investigator was sent over to survey the home in the form of photos and video. That's a creepy looking house. That's weird. Primary victim's home. I toured a house like that to buy and it freaked me out. After taking the previously shown photo, the investigator reported feeling an overwhelming sense of dread and left the scene immediately. In order to provide security until another investigator was available, an on-site officer volunteered to set up a camera that took one photo every five minutes facing the room that the event occurred in. 3.34 a.m. Threat level none. 3.39 a.m. Threat level none. 4.45 a.m. Threat level vague. Those are eyeballs in the dark. Oh, 5.20 a.m. Threat level none. 5.46 a.m. Threat level evident. Oh, God. Victim's corpse is being seen tampered with by invisible force. Censored. 6.40 a.m. Threat level evident. Oh, my God. Ooh. That is freaky. Conclusion, the suspect shown in the evident images is completely unidentif unidentifiable at this time. The entire department has ruled out the possibility of it being an alternate. Said images will be sent to the higher-ups for further analysis. Previously shown evidence must not and will not be released to the public for any reason. Lieutenant Davis. There's actually only one video left, and it is a teaser for volume two. It's called Metaphysical Awareness Disorder. So we'll watch that last um, but what I think is so interesting about this is it reminds me so much of Local 58. There's like this unforeseen force, like plaguing the country or the counties or whatever. It's obviously like a different reality than the one that we live in because these clips are coming from the 90s and stuff. And in this reality, everyone is very aware of like alternates. Let's see what all the fuss is going to be about for volume two. Metaphysical awareness disorder. Mad. Mad world. Prevent yourself and your family from going mad. What did I say? Metaphysical Ma awareness oh. disorder is a fatal mental illness that has been making a sudden return in recent months. So the patient is on the left in this mad uh, example, I suppose. Uh, so the patient on the left sees someone who's not really there, like whispering to them. And they fade away. MAD is a result of exposure to verbal information that is not desired to be known. Cool. Preach. The rate of death by suicides in mm. patients diagnosed with MAD is 97%. But don't worry. The remaining 3% makes it worth trying to reverse the delusion. Avoiding the root causes of metaphysical awareness disorder development is the first step to being safe. First, avoid excessively frequent religious practices. Avoid unnecessary beliefs and philosophical implications. Okay. Last but not least, looking after your loved ones is a key factor for maintaining mental stability. No. Looking forward to that, I guess. It seems like these alternates, in a way, uh, they're someone's perfect doppelganger, someone's like complete, perfect copy. And it, it's unclear if they harm you or if it makes you go crazy and like hurt yourself. Oh, hey, it's Alex in chat says, what if the alternates are the dark parts of ourselves? That could be really interesting, actually. Like the alternates are like the darkest parts of us. Um almost like the movie Us, where uh, it's it's not like that, but it's like you have a shadow self that goes through 
what you go through, but the opposite. It's it's really, really, really fascinating. I'm so excited to see where this goes. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I want to say a special thank you to my Twitch subscribers, my Twitch followers, and to every single one of you guys for watching. For now, I love you so very much and I will see you in my next video. Bye!